Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Hasib Electronics. Friends, this video is a special requested video from one of my viewer, Devi. He asked me to help out in this in this diagram. He gave me a link of the service manual, but voltage is not stable. He is finding problem in voltage stabilization. Could you help me please? This is service manual. First of all, I will say welcome and thanks for approaching me. You can visit my Hasib Electronics channel, this channel for English and if you want to see my videos in Urdu or Hindi, you can see my Hasib Electronics Urdu channel. Ko aap dekh sakte hai. Ye especially for Pakistani and Indian brothers. If you want to take help, welcome. Let's start our topic. This is the service manual for the Philips DVP642 DVD player. This is input terminal from here input and input voltage are 104 volt to 250 volts. Here is fuse 1.6 ampere 250 volt fuse capacitor resistor inductor EMI filter for removing noise and electromagnetic induction. After that we have a bridge rectifier four diodes. Two diodes connected to positive terminal of capacitor and two diodes connected to negative terminal of the capacitor. After that, if we come to this point, the upper winding is going to pin number three of this chopper transformer. And if we see number pin one, pin pin number one is connected to this MOSFET driver U301. That is KA5M02659R to pin number 5, 6, 7, 8 and 1. So transformer is connected to pin 1, 6, 7, 8 and pin number 5 is free. So let's see what is this IC. It is 5A02. 65 M0265 L0265 0259 M0259 H0280 M0280 This is the complete family. Difference is voltage and frequency. Actually, it becomes in 4 pin or 8 pin dip. If it is in 4 pin, number 1 pin is ground, 2 is drain, 3 is VCC, 4 is feedback. If it is 5 pin, number 1 pin is drain, 2 ground, VCC, feedback and soft start. So we have this type of configuration. It will become any one package style, but the function will remain same. If you look on the, on the circuit, drain is here, ground is here, VCC applied here, soft start, it's optional. It is just only 0265 series and feedback. It's actually four, four pin IC. Number two is ground. Number one is drive for the transformer. And number three is VCC. VCC capacitor and if, if we look here there is 470 kilo ohm 1 over 4 watt resistor this resistor is used for soft start it will apply initial biasing voltage to the capacitor when this IC will receive voltage this IC will go to switch in soft start mode and it will start soft switching to this IC. When first pulse will move positive cycle and current will move through ground and pin number two, pin number one and to this transformer and it will complete its circle. In the off period, after the half positive peak, when it will go to ground level switching, at that time the reversing magnetic field will be removed, coil will be compensated through this BYV26D diode 
resistor capacitor. They will remove and they will zero potential of the coil. Same time, we will receive voltage in the output. Here, we have one diode, two diodes and different voltage level we will receive from here. If we look at the secondary, we have a standby control voltage. Here is standby section. Two transistors are here and we will receive rectified voltage 5 volt for the PCB. This is direct output. Then the same voltage are received at this capacitor 100 micro 16 volt and it is applied to the TL431. Here are two resistors, 10K resistor, 10K resistor, voltage divided and it is the divided voltage are applied to this 431. Here is a capacitor from prevention of false switching, current limiting resistor, 220 ohm and it will activate this optocoupler. When this optocoupler will activate and we will receive feedback at pin number 4. This ground level will be conducted from pin number 3 to pin number 4 and it will apply to pin number 4 of this IC 2659RN. So that means all conditions for this IC are fulfilled now. Pin number 2 is grounded. Pin number 3 we received initial voltage, pin number 4 we received feedback and at the same time when we received feedback there is an auxiliary winding. This transformer have some different auxiliary winding. If we look pin number 4, 104, HER, RFR 104, we have this diode and rectified voltage will rectify it through this resistor, 100 ohm resistor and it will apply to 47 microfarad capacitor and pin number 3. So this IC will receive the VCC voltage. So pin number 6 and pin number 5, if we look at pin number 5, it is also an other recti rectifier. We will receive voltage here. It is a regulator. This is ground line. Pin number 6 is ground. So pin number 5 will rectify voltage and it will apply to this transistor. At the same time, we receive biasing voltage to this regulator. And it will stabilize the voltage and it will maintain the level. And this IC will monitor this level. 265, it will monitor the level. What is the voltage level? and based on the voltage level from this auxiliary winding this circuit if we look at this circuit this circuit is working similar to the Zener regulator it is just only working as a regulator so this U301 it will monitor the voltage level what is the voltage level here it will monitor and the feedback from this U303 will have available at pin number 4. So pin number 4 and pin number 3, VCC and feedback, these two parameters will be monitored to adjust the duty cycle to adjust the pulse width. So we discussed 431. We have another winding 3.3 volt AC. AC 3.5 V1. 3.5 V2 upside and ground low side and we have another 24 volt section this section the center winding we have 24 volt and 12 volt winding pin number 13 is grounded pin number 11 we have here diode 308 and we receive rectified voltage here pin number 1 and we receive voltage from pin number 9 at 24 volt. The same time we have voltage, these voltage are 5 volt SB standby. 
standby voltage are directly feed to the motherboard of the receiver and we receive a standby signal when we power on the remote when we power on from the remote and it is connected to motherboard we will receive standby signal so this standby signal will activate these two transistors and it will be regulated it is also regulated and it will switch these voltage in parallel these voltage in parallel so if we have problem in the regulation might be any one diode or any capacitor from this section is bad if this capacitor this capacitor have open or it reduced its, its value that means it cannot hold the charge and we will find the ripples if we have this problem we will find fluctuation in the output if this VCC capacitor most of the time in these power supplies this capacitor is life expired if it is expired it will reduce the charging level and we cannot find a stabilized voltage here so any variation at VCC pin will be a problem this variation due to capacitor this variation due to this regulator if any component here most of the time if we have variation that means any one component is making leakage or any capacitor is not holding the charge properly so we have to look this section regulator section we have to monitor the voltage if we find stabilized voltage here stable voltage and we can check yes another feature that if the main capacitor have reduced its capacity it is 68 microfarad if it is its capacitance is reduced decreased it will not hold the charge and it will not fulfill the requirement of this circuit so its level will change up and down because transformer will try to receive the current take the current but that time this capacitor will not compensate the current requirements so it will make a load on the bridge so this capacitor will make variation one capacitor two capacitor and we can check this capacitor as well if this capacitor is bad this regulator will, will not work properly and output section these capacitors or might be any one diode have some issue we can check this this transistor if this transistor is bad we will find problem if this if this capacitor is bad we can find problem so i hope so this video is good if it is good thanks for watching if you want to like the video it's up to you and if you want to subscribe my channel it's up to you Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu